Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Spellhack, a quote-unquote fast-paced roguelike deck builder that blends survival and tower defense elements. I have no idea, but I am excited to see what the heck that means. There's a demo out now on Steam, so in we are going to go to see what this is all about. Okay. All right. Welcome to Doom City. An urban sprawl plagued by chaos and illicit magic. Ruled by all-powerful megacorps, you are a spell hacker, a user of the arcane sciences, and a slinger of techno spells. Okay. Incoming transmission. Loading spell drive. Demo. Activate. Uh, yes? There are... Uh... Okay, would it, like, kill you to run a defrag once in a while? Also, you haven't paid your spell drive license in years, so it's in demo mode. Not a great look. Well, you pull yourself together. I can run some simulations. Good for a little fleshies like you to stay greased, I guess. How rusted are you? Need some reminders? <laughs> Please don't call me a fleshy. Uh, I'm kind of rusted. I'm chrome, baby. I mean, I'm going to say I'm kind of rusted. Uh-huh. Nodding dot pick. Okay. Let's get this over with. Techno spells are your main tool against the summoned beasts. Check it. They have two costs. Energy is replenished every turn, while blood is scarce. This costs two energy and one blood. On the cyber field, summoned beasts move left to right towards the portal. They, like, exist to destroy it. At the top right of your readout is your energy meter, and to the left is your blood readout. Okay. Here's two summoned beasts. Their health is displayed below them. The beast on the right is bearing blood. Slaying it will collect blood. This is where your techno spells load in. Okay. We have zip gun squirreler. Okay. If you change your mind on a spell that targets a lane, press X to return to spell selection. The simulation is geared up ready to boogie. Cowabunga. Uh, create a wall with two health. Gain a plus one damage mod. Gain one energy on your next turn. Deal one damage to a random enemy. Are we like... Okay. I mean... I feel like creating a wall is not particularly problematic. Do we want to put it, uh... We'll just put it up a little bit further. We'll try that out. We have two energy left there. Gain a plus one damage mod. Deal one damage to a random enemy. One damage to the first... The first enemy in a lane and push it back a lane. You know what? Let's... When you're done with your turn, slap that inner key to skip time ahead. Okay. There's a there is a boar. Do two damage to all enemies in a lane. It does cost a blood. Do one damage to all enemies in a lane, one damage to a random enemy. Two a flame to the first enemy in a lane. That's some righteous flame! Status effects are powerful, but each beast can only be affected by one at a time. Enemies with a flame take a nice one damage per turn. We could gain the plus one damage mod, but I think, like, we have three left. Oh, the lane is, yeah, the horizontal. Okay. I trust. I shouldn't have trusted. All right, fine. Do we use our blood? Two damage to all enemies in the lane. Oh, we don't have any blood yet. Okay, we start with zero blood. Okay, that makes sense. I gained the damage mod, but I'm assuming that that maybe is just for the wave. For the one turn. You can track them over here. These enhanced damage dealing spells plus one mods add one damage to the next spell that can use it. They stick around between turns. Okay, that's great to know. Okay, that wall is gone. Two aflamed to the first target. We do need to do one damage to the one in the first... And then it will die by the burn. Pop you there. 
Two aflame. So that's just two damage. Am I mistaken? Alright. Cool. I'm I'm curious by the, the phrase fast pace, so we'll we'll see what's up with that. Because that's the only thing I don't get right now, but I I gotta say the style is really very, very cool. It's doing a lot of a lot of heavy lifting here for me in terms of how much I enjoy it. I think I'm just putting down the wall all the way back here. I was waiting to see if there was some kind of mechanic in which uh, I would particularly care. Okay, I'm removing the beast limiters. They are going to move towards the portal whether you are ready or not. That is what I was wondering. Okay. I, I It looks from the Steam Store page like there was going to be a speed thing. You can monitor their action and, and speed on the chrono piece at the bottom. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Do one damage. I mean, you have two HP here. You don't have any blood. Okay, you are going to die. Okay, so do we get extra time? This one in the front is dying. Okay, then one damage to all enemies in a lane. We can do... Yeah, I guess we could just do that. Pop this lad. So, when it's done, when the threat level goes... Are they going to move forward? Seems to be the case. Hit with the aflame. We have two energy left. Uh, meh. I guess I'll get the plus one damage for the next turn here. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, the worm summoned uh, super far up there. We have five, so we could do this, followed by a one damage all in the lane. I don't mind that. Wondering how much time is left in the night. Yeah, check the clock at the top left to see how much time is left. It'll look something like this. Example, clock.pick. Okay, great. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Why did that run out so fast? You gain the blood, remember to use it carefully. It's wicked valuable. All right, we have the damage mod. Uh, we'll push you back here. We do have our wall. We have... Three. Okay. I kind of want to get you guys in the same lane. I feel like that's pretty useful for us. That being said... I don't really... I don't really want to use any of that there. Okay. Uh, We could zip gun and just try and get lucky. Nah. Okay. I think we have to... I think we have to spend two there. We got the blood. Didn't need to use it. Okay. We done? Can we stack the wall? We cannot, in fact, stack the wall. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Uh, we don't have the AoE. We do have a blood. We only have two here. I guess I can't push them out. Stinking worm, man. I guess. Okay, here's the thing. We could do squirreler, zip gun. Okay. I mean, we have we have the walls going on and everything here. Three. It, it shouldn't really matter. We'll push you back. We have the, the one excess. We survived the night. You successfully repelled the simulated summon beast assault. Incoming transmission. Hey, glad to see you still got it. Thumbs up that pick. All right, date time. You got 12 hours of daylight to spend before the beasts return. Use your time wisely. You can scan locations in Doom City to travel towards and improve your spell drive. Check out Ritual Hill first, or don't. I'm not your mom. Game is saved. Data is saved at the start of every day. Disabled in demo. You want me to go to Ritual Hill first? I mean, you don't have to, but because I... Yeah, not mom, etc., etc. Venturing to scan point will take some time. A cash... Five hours for a cash filled with techno spells or a mana steel syringe. How many hours do we have? 12 hours. Travel to Ritual Hill, searching for the signal source. 
Yo, sorry not sorry to interrupt, but I see you're eyeing a spell with an attribute. I mean, sure. Uh, oops. Sorry. Be sure to slam that... Is that an H? Uh, it could be an H and M or an N. Or probably not an N. Probably an H. Button for a reminder on what it means. Or don't. Whatever. Jesus Christ. Okay, so H is boon. Gain this spell's effect for five turns. You can have up to two boons at once. Whenever you push an enemy, do a damage to a random enemy. All enemies gain a status duration. Gain a plus one damage mod. Gain three instead if you have two or more blood. So this does cost a blood. Kind of like the idea of hex flesh and going for like a, a bloodless, blood spendless route. Not yet unlocked. See the programs that are loaded in your memory. I mean, it seems like this is the, pretty much the thing that we have here. Seven hours remain. What's the spell trafficker? Travel to Ritual Hill. Yep. The trafficker needs to unload a spell. He holds out two encrypted spells with visible sigils. Uh... Siege Sigil or the Sigil of the Blade. Oh. Do two damage to the first enemy in a lane and then gain a one damage mod. Okay. Okay. It's kind of expensive, but I think it's fine. Yeah, we don't really we don't have any other uh, choices. We could sleep until night, but Man, well, I mean, fine. What's the Mana Steel syringe? The syringe still has some juice injected into the portal for a temporary shield. Yeah. Is there a catch? I mean, I'll press this, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I I. Not sure how much I want to risk overflowing the time. Yeah, okay, it's not possible. It was only it was an overflow of an hour, so like maybe the enemies could approach quicker. Night falls. Upload if night survived zero percent. Boar, nothing special about boar. Scorpion does two damage. Turtle sometimes doesn't move. Clam does not die at the portal and will continue to attack. So the clam really sucks. Alright, get ready to beast approach. Okay. So plus one damage mod is not particularly exciting. Let's get the wall. Ah. Maybe we can get an AoE out next turn. See? Yeah. Two damage the first enemy in the lane and then I mean holy crap. Okay. I don't love it. Okay. Just wanted to set him up for like a nice AoE of some kind, but... Don't really have a, a good setup for that right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we have two left. Good God. Not feeling great, not feeling great. Gain the damage mod, we could. Lava Curse. I'm really hoping for the AoE, though, is the thing. We have one left, nothing to really do with it. It's feeling rough, feeling rough, feeling rough. I love that AoE there. That feels good. And doing one damage to just get rid of you feels fine. That's all right. Okay. I mean, we're, we're keeping them at bay. The plus one extra damage feels really, really nice when we have uh, the AoE attack, obviously. Hmm. Hmm. We'll gain the damage mod for next turn. 
the lava curse on the front guy feels okay. I assume that that doesn't take our damage mod. We'll push him back there. We do have the blood. So, like, pretty soon we could get the double damage mod, but it's taking kind of a while. Okay, man in the front is dying to the burn. Got the damage mod. Okay, so now we could do more. Okay, push you back. We got three. Send it. All right. One damage on a line. I mean, do we have the damage mod? We did not at that point. Okay. There we go. So now we, we get a huge upgrade. And I think it's kind of worth it to tap out there. Oh, interesting. It did not do what I thought it might. I thought we had more than that uh, amount of blood there. So that did do three, though. I think it's fine. We're, we're almost done with the night. Mm. Okay. What is that sound? What is that sound and why? Oh, that's the you survived the night. Okay. This is really this is really interesting. Fixie says, totally awesome show of spell drive usage. New scannable... Okay, location unlocked. Deep town. So you know the beast's anger increases the threat level. They will get totally angry as the portal continues to survive. Yeah, I mean, I figured the game was going to get harder. But you're a seasoned spell hacker. You'll be fine, I'm sure. And look, you unlocked a new location scan. I've heard most locations have unique features to check out. I mean, I gotta know. Chaos code? Shallow spell hole? What is this? You can harness the loose chaotic code to remove a spell and receive a random one in its place. Fine. I'm kind of leaning towards the one that uses blood as much as I do think it's good. <laughs> like, I'll kind of probably regret it. But I like the idea of maybe trying to... Apply two exposed to the first enemy in a row. Four, if you have two or more walls. We can make that happen. I... There, it was exposed. Takes double damage while affected. Woo! Juvenile Blade. Uh, the Juvenile Blade cannot yet control its own power. It can remove a randomly selected Techno spell. Oh. D you will remove... Okay, so it's a random one and it chooses what it is. It would be Firewall. I'm going to decline. I like that it's random, but it lets you know which random one it's going to be. I do really like that. I'm going to keep exploring here because I'm just curious. A shaman who can fortify the portal. I mean, hit me with the spell smuggler. Spell smuggler needs to unload a spell. He holds out two encrypted spells and whispers. A somewhat cheap spell or a somewhat expensive spell. Eh, a somewhat cheap spell. Gain an energy every turn for five turns for the price of one blood. I could see myself doing that for sure. Five hours remain. Take me back to deep town. What could go wrong? This fills up perfectly. Fills up my five hours. That feels. That feels good. Echo. So I'm assuming Echo is gains power for each other spell executed before this one. Hmm. Magic auto pole. Deal a damage to all enemies with a bunch of damage ups. I like that a lot. And now we sleep. I don't know what the newt does. Lizard, on first death, it instead just loses its tail. I, you know, I was feeling a little inscription, and now I'm feeling a little bit more inscription. But only in, like, loose vibe. In a, in a way that's kind of, like, hard to pinpoint here. 
we go. Set it for next turn. That guy is going to die. Got our firewall. Okay, blast that. Who exposed the first enemy? In the, I mean, we're not really worried too much. Hmm. That was not that was not well thought out there. I was just worried. Uh, you gotta get the hell out of here. We don't have any blood here. Put up the second firewall. Okay, we could create yet another wall. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so that wall is going to take it. The nice thing is we do have the damage up. We could go for, like... Mm. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have the zip gun, I guess. It's worth, it's worth, it's worth. Send it. I feel like we don't have quite enough, like, just actual direct damage things right now. Okay. The guy's not quite dying yet. We do have the wall, so I'm not as worried. There we go. My ears. We have plenty of blood, so that was absolutely not the button I wanted to press. We have the damage up. Okay. We have the zip gun. We have not used the uh, grafted amulet quite yet. Yeah, let's just use up all of our energy. We're, we're fine now. Gotta do... I really like that AoE. It also makes it very clear um, how to use... Mm, how to use my setup. Okay, fine. Pop ya. Let's open for the big old AoE. You've lost your tail already, right? Yes, you sure have. Do we have the damage up? We do indeed. Send it. Okay, Lizard still has tail. Day's about to be done, though. Not much to worry about. The Siphon Mask is good. Masterful spell hacking skills out there. Spell hacker. Call me Neon. I'm a suit at Mana Corp. I'm, a, I'm desperately in need of your services. A competitor of ours seems relentless in destroying a most valuable portal. Sounds like a job for uh, me, a seasoned spell hacker. Yeah, well, that's why I'm contacting you in the first place. I'll return soon with more info. Hope you're not booked. Secure connection severed. Okay. I mean, hit me with a, with another deep down. We've got plenty of hours. I'm wondering if once we've explored every event, it'll say generally what the vibe is. You pull a random spell from the hole. Now the choice is yours. Take it or leave it. Plus one energy for every damage mod. Absolutely. However, there's like a little bit of... Um, I really need to trim my deck a bit. Dude, stop picking that one. I could get rid of it if I'm getting rid of the other thing, too. Randomize a techno spell. I mean, I could possibly like that. Something to randomize. Is there something that I, that I really don't, like, really don't want to use? I mean, zip gun's not that exciting anymore. Deal two damage to the enemy with the lowest HP. Yeah, that's fine. Plentiful program caches. I yeah, I want I want removal. But I want it to be uh hello. Why? A summoned neurofog has escaped captivity. Toss a techno spell through the fog and add salient to it.
Start each night with the spell loaded. Okay. There's got to be one that we want to start with. Eh. I actually feel like the squirrel, as far as something that to have just on turn one, I think the squirreler is pretty decent. So is the firewall, actually. All right, back to deep town. We have two hours. Give me the blade. Cool. <sighs> I want to remove... Maybe this is fine. I don't love it. And we'll, we'll roll this again just in case we get another uh, blade. Because it only takes one hour. Okay. Eh. I'm not, I'm not super happy with the removal of that at all. But I need to trim some stuff a little bit. Deals two damage, but moves back a space when it hits. Rabbit spawns in the middle of the field. Hummingbird moves two spaces per turn and can fly over a wall. Hummingbird's got to go. Owl gains a health if four more spells are executed in a turn. I'm not too worried about that part. Hummingbird is uh, is a problem. Meh. Okay. And now we are going to do four in a turn, aren't we? Not quite. Okay, right, the plus one... Meh. Meh. We have the AOE. We do not. Am I really? Why am I letting the, the bunny do that? Why am I letting the bunny do that? One, two, three. We have the extra. The, we have the one. I think that's just what we got to do there. Regardless. Gain the damage mod. We have the damage mod. We have the blood up. Yeah. I'm um, definitely the concern here is do we have a plus one? No, we don't. Plenty of energy. Gain an energy on your next turn. Yes, sir. There's no blood here, man. Not, not, not doing very effective stuff here. Apply two flame. We could, we could apply it to the owl. I mean, what's the other option here? Enemy with the lowest health. I mean, we can, does that do a double pushback? It sure as hell does. That helps. Oof. I don't like what I did to my deck there. The hummingbird. And I don't really know what to do about it. Not good. Damage for each energy mod we have. We have the one. Sure, we could have done this first. But I'm uh, I'm flailing, man. I'm flailing. It's getting, uh, it's getting messier. That does move back the fox, which helps. The fox has five. I don't know if it's going to hit the one in the front, though. No, that would have been too nice, huh? Unfortunate. Oh, we got the wall. Good, 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 good. That gives us a little bit of delay, but the fox does do extra damage, which obviously sucks. Okay, we're, we're good. We've, we've survived. Woo! I ruined my deck a little bit. Hoo -hoo. Yo, buckle up. Tonight, things get real. I'm spawning a virtual megafauna. You most definitely need to watch out for it. Look, just trying to keep things realistic. You'll do, like, so great. <laughs> Let me remove something I'm not excited about. Alright. 
can randomize something of our choice. I'm not using Lava Curse anymore. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, we do still have a status effect that we can apply, but it's not one that I'm really going to be that excited. Noxious Blade, six hours. Okay, so we can choose exactly what we want gone now. I don't know. The Siphon Mask is, is not a bad idea. The plus one damage mod I do like. Fine. I might get rid of the Plague Send, to be honest. Okay, we have three out, three hours remaining. I'm going to keep on exploring here. Fortify the portal. Sure. Restore a portal health. I don't... I'm not missing any portal health. But we can gain more. That's good to see. Okay. Alright. Megafauna, you say. Crab. Does not die at the portal. Does two damage. Cannot be pushed nor shocked. Heals equal to your leftover energy. Oh, beans. Okay. Uh, gotta, we gotta use up all of our energy. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, shoot. He probably healed. Yeah, he healed a little bit. Or you are the one with the lowest. I've killed the crab. Are we, we good to go then? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I would assume that that was the main concern. Okay, let's just boost. We could gain the damage mod. Pop down yet another wall. I don't know if it's necessarily the answer, but we get. We did indeed get here. Eh, it's not that good. The damage mod, you can't stack it. So they, there's there's balance to that, unfortunately, it looks like. Or can you stack it? Oh, that wasn't good. That was not a good choice. That was not a good choice. Uh-oh. 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 I'm not I don't have any damage on any of this stuff. That's not good. Where's my actual damage, man? Okay. Got the one overflow. A little spooky. I guess we just keep putting down the freaking wall. Going for the squirreler. Pop it in the AoE. Do I get the extra energy each turn? Or do I use it, save it for the, the hex buff? Honestly, maybe. Okay, we have plenty of blood now. Now I could siphon mask, and it's not a problem. Because now we get so much, we get full basic energy there. Oh, God, it's hot. All right, there we go. It take we, we have a little bit of setup. We have quite a bit of setup that we need to make our thing good. So most excellent spell hacking, spell hacker. Spell hacker, I'm back and ready to brief you on your mi- Wait a minute. Are you running spell drive in demo mode? What kind of amateur zone garbage is this? You're useless to me. Wishlist the full game and come back when you have a fully functional spell drive. Until then, get the- Out of my sight. Incoming jump scare? Okay. Uh, 
continue... I mean, what happens if I... Day... It goes back to day one. But I'm trying to figure out if this visual glitch is on purpose. You know? As part of the hee hee ha ha hoo hoo. I feel like no, but it looks like it's resetting us back to the beginning. I gotta say, I would, don't know what I was expecting when I came in, but it wasn't quite this in the, in the best possible way. Not that I expected it to be bad or anything. I looked at it and I was like, ooh, this is oozing style. But I, I really found that very compelling and engaging gameplay-wise and theme-wise in general just very very cool i really like this i'm looking forward to this one for sure uh spell hack check out the demo with a link at the uh, top of the description demo's out now on steam coming out quarter four of this year so it can't be too far at this point god dang man i'm looking forward to it spell hack my name is retromation i cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites if that is something you're into this is a channel that you should be subscribed to thank you thank you and i will see you next time Bye-bye.